Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Sita's Budgeting Journey. I'm Maria, aka Sita, and on my channel, I'll be cash stuffing envelopes, completing fun savings challenges, and I will also document my journey towards financial freedom. So if any of this interests you, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads as I navigate my way towards a debt-free life and learn to budget for my future. Alrighty guys, I am back and as you can see today we will be saving some money in our Christmas binder. How exciting is that? It feels kind of weird to be saving money for Christmas and it's only February, but it's never too early to start saving and every dollar counts. Guys, remember that every dollar that you save is a dollar closer to your goal. Alright, so let's see how much money we have today. 20 35 40 45 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 dollars so how is everybody on this monday president's day guys we have no school i know some businesses are closed in honor of president's day if you're home, I hope you're enjoying your time off. And if you're at work, I hope you're having a blessed and a good day as well. All right, guys, let's get started. Uh, let's see. I am going to be starting with this one here. This is from Lucy Budgets. It was a freebie that she sent out when I received my order from her. So let's see. We are going to do, let's do $5. Now, with this binder, guys, what I'm going to do is as I finish, I'm trying to finish the smaller ones first. And then as I finish them, you know, the, once I get to $100 or more, even if it's a combination of challenges, I'm going to put this into my high yield savings account. You already know I'm all about putting the money in the account so we can, you know, earn a couple dollars. It doesn't matter if it's not a lot, but every little bit counts. Plus, it's definitely safer than having a lot of money sitting at home. So let's see, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars now for the holiday savings challenge. Well, if I can get it back in here. What a mess. What a mess. Okay. This one here from my girl Mindy at Mindy's Budgeting. I always call her channel Mindy Budgets. I don't know why, but Mindy's Budgeting. Let's do, you know what? We're going to do $3 here. So just trying to make this money stretch, guys. That's all. All right. So we have a total of, should be three, six, seven dollars One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Yeah, so let's take $5 and put it here and grab a $5 bill. Now, I'm not going to be doing every single challenge. All right, I don't think I'm going to do this one today. Let's see. What am I doing here? The road? You know what? Why not? Let's do it. Let's get us a little die. Hopefully, it's not a six because I wasn't planning on <laughs> putting money in this one. But let's go. Oh, look at that. One not bad at all so this one from lady that saves got a little love today and we should now have let's see five six seven eight dollars and that is correct Ho, ho, ho. Let's give this one a dollar as well. You know what? That's pink. Let's get a red one. Guys, you're going to hear something really funny. It's not really funny, but it is. I've actually got Christmas PJs on. <laughs> this is my Christmas PJ shirt. It's my Team Santa shirt. And I have Christmas pants on pajama pants on because it's cold my heat is on it's it's on high it's pretty high but i'm still cold so last night i was like oh 
we're wearing some warm pajamas and these are actually the warmest ones i have so now we have three dollars this one here is from lisa grateful me and now that one is done hmm, let's give disney two dollars just because it's disney and we want to get this money put away and even though it's in our christmas binder where is it going yes this money is going towards our 100 envelope challenge so i said two dollars for this one here and we now have one two three four five six is that correct yes i'm gonna leave one and grab another five all right moving right along I'm not going to do that one today. We're not going to do that one today. We are definitely doing this one because this is one that I am definitely trying to stay on top of. Let's see. Okay, so this one is going to be receiving $24 today. And let's see. We're going to put a dollar bill back and we're going to grab $25. So let's see what we have. This one is, is coming along nicely. 20, 40, 60, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars. Yep, perfect. This one is from Fiona at Frugality is Life. Alrighty, so what do we have left, guys? Ten and quite a few ones. So, okay, guys, this one is from Lucy Budgets. I believe her shop is Moxie Designs Co. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I will link it in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in some of these wonderful challenges. All right, so that's going to be two dollars for I'm a Grinch before my coffee. Yes, I am. All right, so we are out of five, so we're just going to keep this here, and that is six dollars. So let me see, based on what we have, you know what? Let's do this here. I actually tried to plan out how much I was going to save or which ones I was going to do, but that normally goes out the window. Let's do this one here. All right, so that's $5. And this challenge here, guys, is from Budgeting with Dina US. She has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. Be sure to check her out. All right, so that's $5 for this one here. Let me see what I have, guys. I still haven't grabbed an envelope for her. All right, so let me put a five back. Actually, you know what? Now I'll put the five back and grab the 10. So we now have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars, 10, 14, Yep, $17. You know what? Let me get rid of these. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just grab the five. All right, so we have three left to finish this side, and then we'll be working on this side. All right, so let's see how much money we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars. Way to make it stretch, Maria. All right, so let's go back. Let's do one here. And we'll do two dollars. And this one should now have four, no, six dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars. That is correct. Alrighty, I love these French challenges. Guys, they are so well made. And she also has a binder which includes most of these challenges. So be sure to check out her channel and her Etsy shop because they are great. All right, let's see. Why don't we do 
$5 in this one here. Let me get a red marker. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm surprised I've been able to stuff almost all of them. All right, so let's see what we have in this one now. We should have a total of 15. Five, ten. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars. Alrighty. Let's do, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dollars left. Let's see, which one are we going to do? We want to put all 10 here, or let me see. We can do 10 here. Let's do, let's do six here. Okay, we're going to do six here, and then we're going to put four in our first challenge, because like I said, we want to finish some of them out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars. That is correct. And let's go back to this one here. And we'll add the remainder for the remaining four dollars. We'll add to this one. And we only need $17 to complete this one. So we should now have $13. Let's see if that's correct. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. That is it for the Christmas savings binder. I'm so happy that I was able to stuff this. It's crazy to me that I'm able to stuff money for Christmas savings in February. Like, I've never ever done that before i've always either bought things at the last minute used my credit cards klarna a firm and then paid it off for a year but this is really the first time that i am saving in february for december and one of the things i did guys and i don't know that maybe i'm late to the game and i should have did this in the very beginning but this weekend since i've had so much time at home not doing anything <laughs> i wrote down my income for a 12 month period for the year then i wrote down all my bills when i say all my bills all my expenses i wrote down all my bills my mortgage my utilities my car insurance subscriptions i went down and i also wrote all my my expenses for my cash envelope so my food shopping my gas for my vehicle fun day household i wrote everything down i even wrote down like the pet care expense which is average because you know that changes but i added everything in i even incorporated like the sinking funds that i save for and guys i was shocked at the amount of money that i should have left over once i pay all my bills where is it going now i, I am saving don't get me wrong, guys. I am saving. I've accomplished a lot with paying off so much debt, which I need to give you guys an update on soon. But it's shocking to me that I have so much money left over. And I'm like, okay, things got to change. I need to up my savings. I'm thinking of going through my mini savings challenges, my savings challenge binder, and just maybe consolidating some of them and maybe pushing more money towards my emergency fund because as a homeowner you guys already know we can never save enough money right now i think i have a thousand two hundred and fifty my goal was to get to twenty five hundred by the end of the year but guys even with the disney trip and the money i'm saving for that i really should be pushing for maybe four thousand um Again, it's 
my journey and I can make adjustments as necessary. That kind of scares me to say I'm saving 4000 for that, plus trying to pay off my mortgage. Plus. So that's why I want to consolidate some of my categories and maybe just place more emphasis on my savings. Because when you have such a large amount left over and you're not seeing it, you got to change things around. So I recommend if you haven't already done so, which maybe I'm late to the game and I should have did this a long time ago, but I do recommend that you write down your income. Now I know income changes. My income does not change. So I know pretty much how much I'm going to be receiving every month, but I do recommend that you write things down and see how much you're going to spend it. You know, take your mortgage, multiply it by 12, your car insurance, your car note, whatever bills you have, multiply everything by 12. It's, I mean, it's simple math. Deduct it from your total income. See what you have left over. I even up the amounts that I saved. I saved for fun day. I saved for pet care. I, you know, I calculated it. I shouldn't say saved. I calculated the amount for 12 months. And some of the variable expenses, of course, are going to increase or decrease, but I also added in a buffer and I still have money that I have no idea where it's going guys so moving forward I'm going to be more conscious of my number one spending and my saving that's important because with this low spend guys it has taught me so much I thank you whoever came up with a low spend no spend I thank you from the bottom of my heart it is something that I would have never did on my own again something that I learned from being a part of this wonderful budgeting community. And it has really changed my way of thinking. Like I really, before, I don't know about you guys, but I was the type of person that if I got, once I got paid, I had money in my pockets, I'm spending it just because, just because I have it. And even when I started this budgeting journey, I would set money aside like for the fun day or for eating out. And Within the first day or two, that eating out money was gone. I had no money for two weeks or I would use a credit card or I would, you know, whatever. But now I am definitely paying more attention and it is working. So again, I know you guys probably get tired of hearing it, but from Maria to you guys, my little bit of advice today is that number one, you jot down your income, jot down all your expenses, multiply it by 12, subtract it from your total income and see what you have left over. And then try and figure out, you know, where can I make changes? Where can I save a little more or, you know, add a little more to this bill to bring it down sooner? Just, you know, just to give you a bigger picture. Secondly, if you haven't already tried a low spend or no spend month, guys, give it a try. It is a total game changer. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Like I said earlier, whether you guys are off or working, I hope you're having a beautiful and a blessed Monday. Stay safe, guys, and we will be chatting soon.